In this video, I would like to explain the concept of point filters or coordinate filters. A point filter in AutoCAD is defined as an interactive method using which we can define a point in 2D plane or in 3D space by extracting x, y and z coordinates from existing points in 2D plane or in 3D space. I would like to demonstrate point filters with the help of three simple examples. First of all, let me create a rectangle using a polyline command. So I give polyline and I'll pick my start point here and I'll turn the ortho mode on by pressing the F8 function key and I'll pick the second point here and the third point here and while selecting the fourth point I am not supposed to go and simply make a pick because as you know it won't be accurate so in this context I can make use of point filter you know that x coordinate of this point will be the same as x coordinate of end of this because these two points are lying along the same vertical line and y coordinate of the point to be plotted will be the same as y coordinate of this particular endpoint because these two points are lying along the same horizontal line. So I'm, I can communicate this information to the software using point filters. And point filter can be accessed in various ways. Out of which the easiest method is simply hold on the shift button in your keyboard and click the right button of the mouse and you can get point filters. And you select dot x from here. Dot x means x coordinate of and you select this point. So x coordinate is extracted from that point. Now it will ask you for y coordinate. So again shift uh, right click your mouse and select dot y off which means that you are going to extract the y coordinate. Now from which point? From this point the y is extracted. The moment you give x and y this point will get automatically defined. And this command won't ask you for z coordinate because you know that polyline is a two dimensional object and it can only be constructed in x y plane. Now you can just give close to complete the rectangle. In the second example, I would like to construct a circle right at the geometrical center of this rectangle. Conventionally, you construct diagonals connecting the corners and you find out the point of intersection and with that as a center, you construct a circle. But if you know point filters, you don't have to do that. Just type C for circle command and I would like to define the center. The, you know that the center point will have the same x coordinate as that of mid of the bottom edge or mid of the upper edge. So shift right click and go to point filters and select dot x off mid of this edge. And I am asked to give y and z coordinate. So I will again go to point filters and I will select dot y off this particular edge midpoint. Now it is asking for z. I can give z as 0 because in point filters the last coordinate can be given as a numeric value. Now you can simply uh, drag to specify the radius to complete the circle. In the third example, I would like to move the circle in the positive z axis direction through a certain distance. But before I move the circle, I would like to switch over to southeast isometric view. So I will give v point 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 to get this view. Or else I can make use of this setup over here to get the southeast isometric. Now I will give move command. I have selected the circle. When I am asked to specify the base point, I have selected the center as the base point. Now I am asked to give the second point. But you know that in AutoCAD 2010 and higher versions, ortho mode works in the z directions as well. So I can turn the ortho on. Now I can give a value of 15 and it has moved in the z direction through a distance of 15 units. But in this exercise, I would like to move the circle in the positive z axis direction by using point filters. So I'll give move again. I have selected the circle. When I'm asked to give the base point, I have selected this as the base point. But you know that the base point and the second point differs only in z coordinate. That means x coordinate and y coordinate of the second point will be the same as the base point. I can give this information by going to point filters and I'll select dot x y off center of the circle. Now when I'm asked to give z coordinate I can give z as the numeric value that is 15 units. Now I have moved the circle through uh, the distance of 15 units by using point filters. Well now you understood what is meant by point filters. But it is always better to note down the following points related with point filters. 
we are supposed to make use of point filters only when asked for a point, that is at the point prompt. While using point filters, we can either extract coordinates individually, example, dot x of, dot y of, dot z of, or two coordinates at a time, example, dot x y of, dot y z of, or dot z x of, depending upon the requirement. The last coordinate of point filter can be defined as a numeric value. So this is all about point filters. Thank you.